Caribbean News Global, bringing you news briefly from around the world. Police are investigating the shooting incident that resulted in the death of one male, namely Jermaine Green. The criminal act was committed at the Downing Street in Sandy Point, St. Kitts, on February 12, 2024, between the hours of 11.45 p.m. and midnight. Mr. Green, a 29 years old Jamaican national resided in St. Kitts for some years, was escorted by an armed assailant while seated outside of a Downing Street establishment. He sustained multiple gunshot wounds around the body and scrambled to his injuries at the scene. The An elderly man was charged with the second homicide took place in Antigua. A man is now behind bars for the recent killing of a 22-year-old that brought Antigua and Bermuda murder toll to two. Eric Burton, a 59-year-old resident of Villa, has been arrested and charged for the murder of Jamal Rayner from Yorks. The fatal altercation took place on Rowan's Henry Street around 8.30 p.m. on Tuesday, February the 13th. Rayner's untimely death was a result of a stab wound to the chest. While we move to St. Vincent, the murder still continues. A woman in St. Vincent, she was the sec seventh victim of 2024 murder. A 30-year-old woman was stabbed to death in St. Vincent and the Grenadine. The Royal St. Christopher St. Vincent and the Grenadines police force reported Carona Jennings was found in the front yard of her home, which is located in Campden Park and Wednesday with multiple stab wounds. Local media reports Jennings was a mother of three children, including twins, that was born in December. Still in St. Vincent and the Grenadine, gunshots claims the life of a 45-year-old man. 45-year-old was shot and killed on Monday in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Police said Ian Dog Brown was heading to work when an assailant approached him in the vicinity of Greg's Auto Rental in Old Montrose. Police officers who responded to the crime scene took Brown to the Milton Cartos Memorial Hospital where he died while receiving medical attention. It is very sad of what is going on and my heart hurts me to know that mother who just had twins in December, they took her life. I pray that they find the perpetrators who is committing these crimes in this Caribbean country and find them fast and they will get the maximum penalty that they deserve. My condolences goes out to all the grieving families and friends out there. God bless you and comfort you.